But first tonight, the so-called red flag bill and a ban on bump stocks have passed the Rhode Island Senate. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us now live in studio with the new details. Steph? The red flag legislation was introduced here in Rhode Island in the wake of the Parkland, Florida shooting. It has now passed both the House and Senate. The goal is to prevent gun violence before it happens. After the devastating mass shooting at a high school in Parkland, Florida, reports emerged that there were red flags about the gunman beforehand. The alleged shooter's mother herself had even contacted law enforcement regarding her son's behavior. The red flag bill in Rhode Island would allow guns to be taken away from people exhibiting dangerous behavior. And the act passes. It passed the full Senate Thursday on a bipartisan vote of 33 to 1. It gives us another tool in the tool belt. Central Falls Police Chief Colonel James Mendonca says this will help police. There are situations where someone does suffer from mental health uh, conditions and if they do have a firearm and they are either a threat to themselves or someone else. We have an avenue to rectify the situation. The bill was amended to allow only police to seek the order to disarm a person. It's going to be done uh, on a petition from law enforcement, not some jilted lover out there that's angry with her uh, boyfriend. We're taking uh, guns away from immediate danger. Uh, they have the right to a full hearing in Superior Court. The lone no vote was Republican Senator Elaine Morgan. So I see it violating our constitutional rights, but I want to keep our kids safe. That is definitely what we need to do, but I don't see anything in this bill to keep our kids safe. Sadly, Senator, I disagree, but uh, that's what's great about this chamber and great about America. And the House passed its red flag bill last month. So as soon as one chamber passes the other's version, it will be sent to Governor Gina Raimondo's desk. She said tonight she is looking forward to signing it. I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.